Hi, Flint. Well, they're not there yet. There they are. I'm Fred. Hi, Flint. I eat snacks, peanut butters, and chocolate. Peanut butters and Oreos. Very good Oreos. That's right. Can you do me a favor? Let's start while we're waiting for our friends to come in. Oh, no. Can you move our, our um, arrow down to the circle time? Okay. Oh, no. Let's see, did you get it? This is so fast. Very good. Wow, that this was is awesome. So fast. So fast? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, a candle is not a good idea to eat. Oh, okay. A candle is not a good idea to eat? No. Must, you're very right about that. You are very, very right. Okay, ready? And we we play like this. Oh, my goodness. That's so loud because dragons do that. Oh, dragons do do that. You're right. Yeah. Okay, ready? Good morning, friends. Good. How are we? Ready to jump up and down? Yes. <sighs> Liam, Liam, jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Liam, Liam, jump up and down. Now please sit down. That, that, was, a big, that awesome. was a big jump. That was big jumping. Okay, mommy's gonna jump up and down. Ready? Mommy, mommy, jump up and down, jump up and down. Mommy, mommy, jump up and down. Mommy, mommy, jump up and down. <sighs> oh my goodness, that was some good jumping, right? What was my foot? Okay, ready? Let's say good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning to my friends. It's nice to see you. I have missed you. How are you doing today? I am well. I am well. I am feeling well today. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. How are you doing today? How are you feeling, Mia? I'm happy. Thanks for asking. You want to make sure your happy face is up there? Yeah. We should take the angry face or the, the mad face off. The That's mad right face? here. Yeah. Are you feeling silly today? Yes. Silly like right Silly there. and happy. Yeah. Very good. We're bad guys. Oh, we were doing Romeo in the in the backyard, weren't we? Yeah. And then Romeo smashed me out of the Romeo stink. Oh my. oh my goodness, that's a lot. All right, can you come sit down? Awesome job. Do you want to surprise It's chance of meatballs. That's right, we're going to read Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, friends. That's my favorite story! <laughs> that's my story. I know you love that story. Mommy loves that story, too. And Daddy, too. All right, let's say hi to our friends who came to join us, okay? So, um, good morning from Aunt Michelle, Abby, and Uncle Daryl, all three of them. Would you like to do Jump Up and Down for Abby? Let's sing for her, ready? Okay. Abby, Abby, jump up and down, jump up and down, jump up and down. Abby, Abby, jump up and down, now please sit down. Mommy, can I brush my hair? Not right now. We can brush our hair after circle time. Okay, for now, let's say good morning and jump up and down for Brody. Ready? Yeah, I love you. Yeah. We're going to do them separately, okay? Let's do Brody first. Okay. Brody, Brody, jump up and down. Jump up and down. Jump up and down. Brody, Brody, jump up and down. Now please sit down. Owen. Owen, Owen, jump up and down. Jump up and down. Jump up and down. Owen, Owen, jump up and down now. Please sit down. Thanks so much for joining us, friends. My best friends. Okay, now. Owen and Boy is my best friend. Oh, that's the nicest thing ever. Yeah, and you're my best friend too. Oh, I'm your best friend too. I love you. Mwah. All right, so let's sing about the months of the year. Yeah. You ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. Those are the months of the year. You know who else is here with us? Charlotte's here with us. Charlotte again. <laughs> All right, Charlotte, we should do jump up and down, right? Okay. Charlotte, Charlotte, jump up and down, jump up and down, 
Jump up and down, Charlotte, Charlotte, jump up and down. Now please sit down. All right. So let's oh, see. What? We are still in the month of April. Yeah. Yesterday, April started. So now we get to leave April up there. But it's not the 1st of April anymore. It's the 2nd of April. Can we all, before we move it, can we all count to two? You ready? I think we can handle it. Ready? Yeah. One. Two. That's it. That's it. That's it. We one. did one, two. All right, can you take the number one down and find the number two and put it up? Okay, here's number one. Let's take that one down. Okay, number one. Take number one down. Good. And can you put the number two up? Yeah, okay. Okay, good job. Number two. Okay. Good job. And you're going to put it right here. I'm waiting. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, leave it right there. Put what the number it? two up. I got it. You put the number two up. Okay. Oh, thank you. Very good. Okay, oh, come sit down in your seat. That noise, friends, we hear a firehouse. Yeah, a firehouse. Yeah, that's right. Okay. What, 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 what the firehouse? Me. What's a firehouse mean? Friends, what's a firehouse? Do you know what a firehouse is, Liam? Yeah. Is that where the fire trucks live and the firemen go and they get the trucks and then they go and fight fires, right? Yeah, fight fire. Right, that's right. Okay, so now we're going to sing the days of the week. week. Ready? Days of the week. All right, friends, here we go. Days of the week. week. <laughs> days of the week. <laughs> days of the week. <laughs> Days of the week, days of the week. <laughs> There's Sunday and a Monday. Sunday and a Wednesday. A Tuesday and a Friday. And then a Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Awesome job. Thank you. Come on up and let's do the days of the week. So yesterday was... Very good. Move that, please. And that means today is Wednesday. What comes after Wednesday is Thursday. Very good. That means that tomorrow will be Go ahead. Wednesday. Not Wednesday. Tomorrow will be fr Friday. Friday. Very good. Okay. And just to remind our friends, I put it on there, but we won't be having circle time live tomorrow. You and I are gonna do circle time together, but we're gonna we're not gonna live stream circle time because mommy has to do her class, right? She has to meet with her class and find out how they're doing. And we need we only get half an hour to meet with them. So I gotta spend a half an hour with my students, Whoa, right? That's my favorite. That's your favorite? I'm so happy to hear that. And did my daddy. So we won't have circle time on YouTube tomorrow, but um, we will be back on Monday for more fun. Yes, Mommy. Mm -hmm. we, uh, what? We're going outside later. Uh, later, we'll go back outside. We already outside once today, but we'll go back outside again, right? Okay. Friends, it is time to sing about the seasons. Are you ready? If you know all the seasons, clap your hands. If you know all the seasons, clap your hands. If you know all the seasons, you've got four terrific reasons to shout out and name the seasons. Clap your hands. That was a good job. Okay. Mommy may have been washing the dishes and practicing this one yesterday, right? She's bound and determined to get better at it. All right. <clears throat> if you really love the winter, go like this. <laughs> if you really love the winter, go like this. <laughs> Because winter is the season when your nose is always freezing and you're shivering and squeezing. Go like this. Very good. In the spring you run and play and shout hooray. Hooray! In the spring you run and play and shout hooray. Hooray! In the spring the grass is growing and a gentle breeze is blowing and a warmer sun is blowing. Go like this. No, shout hooray! I practiced and I still couldn't do it. That's so silly. Okay. So after spring comes 
summer. summer. Very good. So if it's you, that, well, it, we're still in spring right now, right, friends? We have birds outside and bumblebees, bumblebees and butterflies. That's right. I I can see butterflies. You haven't seen any butterflies yet. No. We'll take a look outside this afternoon for some butterflies. Okay. I don't think the butterflies are out yet, but we'll see. All right. So, Let's sing. So they're hiding. They might be. Let's sing about the summer. Ready? If you really love the summer, stomp your feet. If you really love the summer, stomp your feet. Wait, 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 please. Thank you for being a good listener. In the summer, you can play and swim and camp and fish all day. Oh, summer, please don't go away. Stomp your feet. Okay, now would you like to show your friends Olaf? Because yeah. Olaf does love the summer. I know, it's so silly. Olaf is a snowman who loves the summer. Yeah, he's a snowman. He's a snowman, that's right. Hey, say hi, Olaf. Ah, I'm Olaf. All right, can you put Olaf back? Yes. All right, and we'll finish up our season song. Oh, he's too big. He is too big. Ah. <laughs> ah. All right, come on back. All right, our last season is autumn. Ready? If you really love the autumn, slap your knees. If you really love the autumn, slap your knees. When it's beginning to get cold and the leaves turn red and gold, then it's back to school we go. Slap your knees. Oh, I did it! I did you! Oh, high fives. That was great job. So we are still in spring, friends. Oh, everybody seems to like the spring. It's a rebirth. Things are being Things are growing. Things are pooping. Some things are pooping. It's true. All right, ready? Pooping. No more, please. Thank you. I like pooping. I know, you do. But we're not going to say it anymore, okay? Okay, you got to say it a couple times. That's it. All right? Sound good? Awesome. Mr. Weather Watcher, are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it raining? Is it windy? Is there snow? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Can you tell us? Can you tell us? What's the weather like today? Go ahead, weather watcher. Go tell us. Friends, it's sunny. It's sunny. Friends, tell us what the weather is like by you today. Sunny is up here still. Sunny is up there still. And how did it feel outside today? Did it feel warm or hot or cold? Cold. It was cold, right? And our arrow is still at cold. Good job. I know. I want it to be hot too, but it's cold outside. Do you see cold? Right? Okay, come sit down. Oh, what is it? That's freezing. <laughs> when it snows outside and it's really, really cold, we have to bundle, bundle up. Oh, Nana says, sunny and windy in Havertown, PA. That's oh. where Mommy grew up. Yeah. Okay. This Mommy grew up Sunday. Mm-hmm. Let's sing about the letter of the day. So our letter today is the letter G. Yeah, G for Liam. G for grape. And how perfect because today's theme is peanut butter and jelly sandwich day. Yeah, it's my favorite. Did everybody know that? Today is peanut butter and jelly sandwich day. Mommy is finding all sorts of funny things about the days of the year, right? Yeah, and I listen to an odd kind of toy. Oh, yes. So if Liam listens every day at circle time and he, he's on his best behavior, he gets a sticker. And then when he gets a couple of stickers, he gets a special treat. Yes! Is my favorite. You're such a goober. <laughs> I think. All right, friends. So together today, the letter of the day is G. G for grape. G for grape. Oh, and Helen says the weather is windy in Hopog. Hopog, not again. Hopog. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 
Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Friends, I think that is the saddest ABC song I have ever heard in my life. Yes. Yes. I do believe sad it is. Face is not oh, you're going to put your sad face on now that you sang the sad ABCs? Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Thank you. Okay. Can you also, while you're over there, Mr. Sad Face, can you bring me the book for the day? Yeah. Awesome. The book. The book. All right. So before we, ring, we read our book of the day, I have a special song for us to sing. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So you know the peanut butter and jelly song? Do you know that one? Peanut, peanut butter and jelly, peanut. Peanut butter and jelly. That's exactly it. Wait, so hang on, hang on, hang on. So we are going to sing the peanut butter and jelly song, friends. And if you want to sing along with us, we would love to have you. You ready? First, you take the peanuts and you crush them. You crush them. You crush them, crush them, crush them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you smash them, you smash them, you smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it, you spread it, you spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it, you eat it, eat it, eat it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Good job, good singing, friends. That was an awesome singing job, Liam. I really liked that a lot. All right, so we thought it would be fun to, to sing an extra song today, and we have a great book. This is one of my very favorite books ever. It's called Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. This is written by Judy Barrett and drawn by Ron Barrett. Okay, you ready? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Here we go, friends. We were all sitting around the big kitchen table. It was Saturday morning, pancake morning. Mom was squeezing oranges for juice. Henry and I were betting on how many pancakes we each could eat and Grandpa was doing the flipping. You see everybody back there? Look at them, they're saying they can eat that many pancakes. That's a lot of pancakes. Seconds later, something flew through the air, headed towards the kitchen ceiling, and landed right on Henry. After we realized that the flying object was only a pancake, we all laughed, and even Grandpa. What is this? What do you think it is? What does it look like? A pancake, that's right. On it's on his head. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. All the other pancakes landed in the pan, and all of them were eaten, even the one that landed on Henry's head. <gasps> Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? Yeah. That night, touched off by the pancake incident at breakfast, Grandpa told us the best tall tale bedtime story he'd ever told. Across an ocean over lots of huge, bumpy mountains, across three hot deserts and one smaller ocean, there lay the tiny town of Chu and Swallow. What do you think he's looking for? I don't know. Oh, let's find out. In most ways, it was very much like any other town. It had a main street lined with stores, houses with trees, and gardens around them. A schoolhouse, about 300 people, and some assorted cats and dogs. But there were no food stores in the town of Chew and Swallow. They didn't need any. The sky supplied all the food they could possibly want. The only thing that was really different about Chew and Swallow was its weather. It came three times a day at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And everything that everyone ate 
came from the sky. <gasps> Kelly, what things do you think came from the sky, friends? Liam, what do you think came from the sky? Um, what kinds peanut of butter. peanut butter? Maybe peanut butter came from the sky. Can you think of anything else that maybe came from the sky? I'm poopy. I uh, hope not. All right, let's keep going. Whatever the weather served, that was what they ate. But it never rained rain, and it never snowed snow, and it never blew just wind. It rained things like soup and juice. It snowed mashed potatoes and green peas. And sometimes the wind blew in storms of hamburgers. I love hamburgers and cheese. I know you love cheese burgers. Yeah. The people could watch the weather report on television in the morning, and they would be able to hear a prediction for the next day's food. What are these? Yeah, look at them. Let's look. Take a look. Pancakes. They're pancakes. Look, friends, they have pancakes. And over here we have pie. And we have some turkey legs and some soup. I can see some soup. You want to see some soup? When the townspeople went outside, they carried their plates, cups, glasses, forks, spoons, knives, and napkins with them. That they, they would always be prepared for any kind of weather. If there were leftovers, and there usually were, the people took them home and put them in the refrigerators in case they got hungry between meals. The menu varied. By the time they woke up in the morning, breakfast was coming down. After a brief shower of orange juice, low clouds of sunny side up eggs moved in, followed by pieces of toast. Butter and jelly sprinkled down for the toast, and most of the time it rained milk afterwards. For lunch one day, Frankfurters, already in their rolls, blew in from the northwest about five miles an hour. Do you know what a Frankfurter is? Yeah. What's a Frankfurter? What's another word for a Frankfurter? What you, what's this? Hot dog. A hot dog. Sometimes hot dogs are called Frankfurters. There was mustard clouds nearby. Then the wind shifted to the east and brought in baked beans. A drizzle of soda finished off the meal. Mmm, that sounds very good. Yeah. Oh, what do you think that is? Yeah. Oh, this is what we made yesterday. Dinner one night consisted of lamb chops becoming heavy at times with occasional ketchup. Periods of peas and baked potatoes were followed by gradual clearing. What is this? Hang on one second. With a wonderful jello setting in the west. It's a jello. Isn't that funny? The jello we made. <clears throat> Who do you think these people are? I don't know. What do you think? It looks kind of like a garbage truck, right? Yeah, a garbage truck. The sanitation department of Chew and Swallow had a rather unusual job for a sanitation department. What? It had to remove the food that fell on the houses and sidewalks and lawns. The workers cleaned things up after every meal and fed all the dogs and cats. Then they emptied some of it into the surrounding oceans for the fish and turtles and whales to eat. The rest of the food was put back into the earth so that the soil would be richer for the people's flower garments. What do you see? I know that's where all the uneaten food goes. Okay. Oh, spaghetti ties up town. What happened? Oh, let's find out. Life for the townspeople was delicious, until the weather took a turn for the worse. One day, there was nothing but gorgonzola cheese all day long. The next day, there was only broccoli all overcooked. And the next day, there were Brussels sprouts and peanut butter with mayonnaise. Another day, there was a pea soup fog. No one could see where they were going, and they could barely find the rest of the meal that got stuck in the fog. Stuck in the fog? Stuck in the fog. <gasps> That's a big pancake. Yeah. The food was getting larger and larger, and so were the portions. The people were getting frightened. Violent storms blew up frequently. Awful things were happening. One Tuesday, there was a hurricane of bread and rolls all day long and into the night. There were soft rolls and hard rolls, some with seeds and some without. There was white bread and rye and whole wheat toast. Most of it was larger <clears throat> than they had ever seen bread and rolls before. It was a terrible day. Everyone had to stay indoors. Roofs were damaged and the sanitation department was beside itself. The mess took the workers four days to clean up and the sea was full of floating rolls. 
to help out, the people piled up as much bread as they could in their backyards. The birds picked at it a bit, but it just stayed there and got staler and staler. There was a storm of pancakes one morning and a downpour of maple syrup that nearly flooded the town. A huge pancake covered the school. No one could get it off because of its weight. So they had to close the school. <gasps> no. What? Why did they close the school? Because they couldn't get in. Look how big the pancake is. What? So they're getting off the pancake. They tried to. The two helicopters tried to lift off the pancake. They couldn't do it. Why? It was too heavy. Heavy? Lunch one day brought 15 inch drips of jelly, uh, cream cheese, and jelly sandwiches. Everyone ate themselves sick, and the day ended with a stomach ache. There was an awful salt and pepper wind accompanied by an even worse tomato tornado. People were sneezing themselves silly, and I'm running and avoid the tomatoes. The town was a mess. There were seeds and pulp everywhere. <coughs> there are cream cheese and jelly sandwiches. The sanitation department gave up. The job was too big. Everyone feared for their lives. They couldn't go outside most of the time. Many houses had been badly damaged by giant meatballs. Stores were boarded up and there was no more school for the children. What is that? Those look like giant donuts to me. Can you sit back so our friends can see the book too? Yes, they're running away from the giant donuts. Yeah. So a decision was made to abandon the town of Chew and Swallow. Does anybody know what the word abandon means? It means they're going to leave the town. Why? Because there's too much food. It was a matter of survival. The people glued together the giant pieces of stale bread sandwich style with peanut butter took the absolute necessities with them, and set sail on their rafts. That looks like a shark. Let's take a look at friends. This is really fun. So they made the sandwiches with the peanut butter. You can see that. And then that's what they floated on. And then they had a piece of pizza and a piece of cheese. Yeah, that's so funny. There's the sails. What a good idea. Yeah. Okay, here we go. After being afloat for a week, they finally reached a small coastal town, which welcomed them. The bread had held up surprisingly well, well enough for them to build temporary houses for themselves. That's the lady holding the bag of groceries. The children began school again, and the adults all tried to find places for themselves in the new land. The biggest change they had to make was getting used to buying food at a supermarket. They found it odd that the food was kept on shelves, packaged in boxes, cans, and bottles. Meat that had to be cooked was kept in large refrigerators. Nothing came down from the sky except rain and snow. The clouds above their heads were not made of fried eggs. No one ever got hit by a hamburger again, and nobody dared to go back to chew and swallow to find out what had happened to it. They were too afraid. Henry and I were awake until the very end of Grandpa's story. I remember his kiss goodnight. The next morning, we woke up to see snow falling outside of our window. We ran downstairs for breakfast and ate it a little faster than usual so we could go sledding with Grandpa. It's funny, but even as we were sliding down the hill, we thought we saw a giant pat of butter at yeah. the top, and we could almost smell mashed potatoes. It looks like a giant pat of butter, right? Yeah, and snow. And snow, that's right. The end. What a good story that was. Did you like it? Yeah? What was your favorite part of the story? Um, I like that. You like the grandpa and his coffee cup? Yes. That's a good part. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. I listened to you. You did. You did a great job today. I'm very proud of you. High five. Thank you. Let's get your sticker, right? Oh, you can't really see it. We can show you. This is our new chart up at the top there. And look, we have a sticker already. I'm so proud of you. Can you? Oh, I'm gonna put it up there so you can see that you're that you got a sticker for circle time. Okay? Yeah. High five. Good job. Bye guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> yes, that is the top of your head. Alright, bye bye. Bye. What's this? <laughs>